hi welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you have watched my videos before the idea of this channel is all about re-educating and decolonizing the mind so i was very eager to jump into reading all of these books but it really seemed to make the most sense to start with understanding how to read books well for that reason i decided to read this book how to read a book first i'm going to give you some background about what the book is about and who wrote the book and then I'm going to talk you through the different sections of the book and what the major points or arguments are. So I'm not going to get a chance to get into all of the specific details. If that's something that people want in the future definitely let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to make more detailed videos about each specific section of the book. This book was written by Mortimer Adler and was originally published in 1940. Adler was an American philosopher, educator, and editor. He taught at Columbia University and at the University of Chicago. He also served as a chairman of Encyclopedia Britannica's board of directors. Adler was one of the people in the 1950s and 60s who worked on compiling the Great Books of the Western World series, which is a list of different books throughout Western literature that they considered to be the great books or classics. In 1972, a second edition of this book was published. Just because Adler wrote the original book, I'm probably just going to be referring to Adler as the author, but there is a co-author who helped a lot, especially with the editing. I personally found Mortimer Adler to be a very interesting person. I'm going to include in the description box an interview that I found on YouTube. He was being interviewed by William F. Buckley on his show The Firing Line. And it's a really interesting conversation, at least to me, all about the idea of like classical education and that sort of thing. So the first chapter of the book talks a lot about the concept of reading and why it's important to develop this skill of reading. And I think it's really important to emphasize this idea of learning that Adler talks about in the chapter. He considers learning by instruction to be aided discovery and learning by discovery to be unaided discovery. The idea of learning by instruction or aided discovery, as Adler calls it, is this idea of learning through a teacher. The teacher explains the lecture, explains the topic, and the teacher is then there for you to ask questions to and clarify things with. That's very different than the idea of learning through reading a book. That would be learning by discovery or what Adler calls unaided discovery. With unaided discovery, when you're reading a book and questions come up, it's up to you as the reader to answer those questions. There's no one to really hold your hand and walk you through the process. Adler does not believe in the idea of using things like commentaries or lectures to help you through this process. It's really something that you as the reader are doing alone. So there are four different levels of reading, elementary reading, inspectional reading, analytical reading, and syntopical reading. So elementary reading is the one form that Adler doesn't really talk a ton about in the book because he says, for you to be reading this book, you already know how to do elementary reading. This is a sort of level of reading that you get to when you're in elementary school, understand what the sentences mean. The second level of reading is inspectional reading. First is systematic skimming or pre-reading and second is superficial reading. So the goal is to answer the question what is the book about? The whole idea of inspectional reading is it lets you know whether it's worth it to go and do a more thorough and detailed read of this book. Next is analytical reading and I am not going to get into all of the details of analytical reading. This is the part that makes up most of the book it is talked about for over 15 chapters. So the first stage of analytical reading looks at finding what the book is about. The second stage of analytical reading outlines rules for interpreting a book's contents. The third stage of analytical reading outlines rules for criticizing the book as a communication of knowledge. The idea is that this is going to take you a very long time. You're really sitting there and grappling with the terms that the author uses, understanding the author's major arguments. You'll have an outline of the book which sets out how the author argues what in what way, and you're just constantly working through things and trying to understand in a very deep and thorough way what the author is saying, what they're arguing, how they're arguing, etc, etc. I will be honest, this does definitely seem like something that's more geared towards nonfiction books. And Adler does specifically mention that this sort of way of reading a book is the most applicable to philosophical texts. So as you can see, this is very, very detailed. I'd be more than happy to go into detail in another video. Just wanted to show you the major ideas or concepts within analytical reading. Fourth level 
of reading and syntopical reading. So at this level, the reader is looking at many different books and comparing them. And the idea is that the reader is going to come up with an analysis of a particular subject that is actually not in any of the books that they're reading. They're coming up to it on their own. And in this chapter, Adler talks about this index that he put together with a few other people called the Syntopicon. Really interesting concept. I've never heard of anything like it before. And I will make a video at a later time about how I use the Syntopicon when it comes to coming up with my TBR. Now to my thoughts on the book. Mortimer Adler was extremely well read. He knew a lot about a lot of things. What's really nice about the book is about the book, he'll give you examples or instances of certain things. So for example, within the first stage of analytical reading, step number one is to classify the book. Within this stage, Adler talks all about different types of books, Kant's critique of pure reason and where that would be classified and where this would be classified. He'll include quotes from books and the fact that he put all of this information into a book that the everyday person can read and refer to is invaluable. A few cons that I found. I actually listened to this book as an audiobook and I'm very glad I did. I found Adler's writing style to be extremely wordy and also slightly convoluted. I think a lot of the time he could have made his sentences much clearer and easier to understand, which would have made the reading process much more enjoyable. I think if I'd chosen to just read the physical book, I would have really struggled and I probably would not have ended up finishing it, which is what happened back in 2016. Not going to talk about the appendices in a lot of detail, but one thing I did want to talk about was the recommended reading list. because. Obviously on this channel I'm really focused on decolonizing the mind and I thought it was very interesting to see the list of books that Adler recommends that people read. So the list has 137 authors. There are very few women on the list, like very very few, I would say a handful, and there were no people of color on the list whatsoever. And I understand that Adler is focusing on the Western world, which I think is like too limited. I think there are classics outside of the Western tradition. But let's just say we accept his premise that he's just focusing on the Western world because that's his area of expertise. Within the Western world, there are still other people of color that exist. I don't think it diminishes how good the book is and how helpful it is. Just make sure you're aware of where he is lacking. And I think he's lacking when it comes to including authors and really valuing diversity in reading lists. Thanks so much for watching. If anyone has any questions, wants me to do a video going through things in more detail, I'm more than happy to do that. I think the process of analytical reading is very complicated and so again I'd be more than happy to sort of break down the stages, make videos about those if that's something that people are interested in. I also would be more than happy to show you the process of how I do some of this when it comes to inspectional reading syntopical reading, whatever it may be. So just let me know in the comments if there's a particular video that anyone is looking for. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will be back with more videos very soon.